Now that the president is in orange, the economy's in great shape. That is the unified message from basically everyone. The New York Times, the chairman of the Federal Reserve told us that the other day. With Joe Biden in office, things are about to explode in a good way. And we certainly hope that's true, of course. But how are people doing right now? Well, one way to measure that, probably the way that matters most, is what does it cost to buy things, the things that you need? Is inflation real? Are you paying more for gas, for example, or groceries than you were a year ago? How about a month ago? Well, we can measure that in a real way. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, consumer prices rose in March at the fastest pace in nine years. Now, the New York Times told us, don't be misled. It's not real. Inflation's not real. But here are the numbers. Gasoline prices rose over 9% in a single month. Depending on where you live, gas may have risen even more. In Washington, D.C., for example, the average price of gas last year was $2.16 a gallon. Right now, it's over 3 bucks a gallon. That's 40% in one year. And it's not just gas. Oil markets are obviously very complex. Everything has gotten more expensive, pretty much. The price of eggs increased, increased by almost 5%. Major appliances by almost 15%. Fresh fruit, 5.6%. Ground beef, 5.5%. Propane, kerosene, firewood, 16% to heat your house. Also up 16% is the median sales price of existing homes. In some places, it's up hundreds of percent. There's also been a massive increase in the selling prices from domestic production of goods. Things like softwood lumber. That increased by 83.2% compared to this time last year. 83% for dimensional lumber. Softwood, spruce two by fours. What? Are we out of trees? We might be. Plywood increased by 53%. So the question is, what does this mean for you? Well, did your income go up 83% last year? <laughs> Probably not. It means you have a lot less money. Your costs increase your income doesn't. It becomes much more expensive to live. But again, according to the New York Times, don't worry about it. One of their headlines recently warned readers to, quote, not get fooled by the new inflation numbers because that's, quote, looking backward. It's inflation nonsense. It'll disappear after the pandemic. Again, we hope that's true. Other news outlets are bold enough to admit, yes, there's inflation, but not because of Joe Biden or his spending trillions of dollars per bill. No, you know what it is? It's climate change. <laughs> it's climate change is doing it. So either inflation isn't real and you're a right-wing kook for thinking it is, $9 for a two by four, it's always been $9. Or it tells you you don't believe in climate change or it tells you just shut up and obey. And that tells you everything, their response. Again, nothing to see here, we hope they're right.